Hey everybody, today is uh, Saturday, October 13th. Uh, do a quick update here on my aquaponic system. Um, start over here with the floating raft beds that have uh, chilies all along the back row. Uh, these have been, been in here for quite a few weeks now. I've been doing updates every week, mostly just um, on the chili plants. Uh, they've been producing every week. This week I took out, I don't know, six or seven chilies. I'll, I'll show you a picture of them there a little later. And then today I spent uh, a lot of time pruning all of these trees, uh, or whatever you want to call them, chili plants. Uh, just taking a lot of the leaves and branches off of the bottom so that uh, they can put more energy into the, the fruit that's setting up on top. Here's some nice ones coming out on this plant here. Um, I probably should have should have done a better job pruning the, pruning these earlier in their growth cycle. Um, some of them are kind of a little just not growing straight up, kind of how you want them. But uh, but they're doing good. There's a nice little batch of chilies coming out there, and uh, they keep producing, so they'll stay in there. And then uh, over here in the gravel beds. This one doesn't have a whole lot going on. These are radishes that I literally just threw the seeds into the bed. And they did take, but it doesn't look like the, the radish, the root part of them, gets very big. So I don't know if that's really a good thing to grow in aquaponics. Over here we have uh, mint, and then over here is basil. Over here is more basil for the purple kind. And a lot more mint. Actually, I just cut this off. This mint, by the way, um, it's really good for making. Uh, if you just if you just take the leaves, or you can just take the whole um, this whole bunch and throw it in a pot of uh, boiling water, you make tea out of it, and then cool, and then refrigerate it. It makes really really good uh, tea. You don't even have to add sugar to it. These are the chilies I took out today. This is uh, arugula, and then this is spinach. Those are all spinach leaves. It's a whole Ziploc bag full of spinach. The arugula came out of this wicking bed mostly. Um, I also have some tomato plants growing in this bed. You can see them there on their way up. These have, uh, this one anyway, has started to flower. And there's one little tomato coming out of here at the bottom. So we'll see how that goes a little later. But in this um, bed, this is the bed that's mostly full of spinach. Um, I hadn't harvested any spinach for a few weeks. I was waiting for it to come back, and it's definitely come back now. And then I've tried something else uh, different today, and that's standing them up. I, I tied these up like this, these five, and I don't know if that's a good idea. Immediately after I did that, they started looking a little sad. You can see they're kind of down there. So I don't know if that's actually good for them or not, but I'll just try it with those. The rest of them will... I'm sure we'll grow and, and uh, replace those if, if they don't like it. This uh, plant here is basil, this huge one. I've, I've harvested that a few times now. And oh, and then these plants over here are uh, also chili plants that are in a wicking bed in soil. I uh, also pruned these today. You can see these two got pruned along the bottom. These, um, I kind of overdid it, and I, I took off parts at the top as well. I don't know what's going to happen as a result of that. We'll see. Hopefully they'll produce. And uh, not a whole lot else going on. This is my herb plant and aloe. Herb, herb gravel bed and aloe plant. And there's the sump. Here's the fish tank. And uh, everything's looking all right. So that's about it. Thanks for tuning in.